Hello everyone, Zarvolt here, and today we're going to be playing more of our red and blue prowess deck. Uh, this is part two. Okay, we've got way too much land. We definitely cannot keep that. Uh, and then no land. So, uh, hmm. I guess we do this because I don't want to go down to five cards. So, okay. Maybe we can make this work. Maybe we'll get a blue land. Okay, no blue land, but at least we've got a creature that we can play with our two red land. Okay, they've got a Westville Abbey, and then they've got an Elvish Visionary. It's a 1-1 one, one elf that lets them draw a card whenever it comes into the battlefield. So, I guess we'll just play this red land and, uh, there's another red land. We'll play this red land and put our Thermal Alchemist out. That way, at least they can't attack with the Elvish Visionary. Okay, there's Elvish Visionary. Okay, they play a green-white land. And uh, then they play a Bygone Bishop. Now, Bygone Bishop lets you uh, get a clue if you play a creature with a mana cost of uh, three or less. So uh, they can start getting some card advantage with that. So. Let's see what we get. Okay, we get a, a red-blue land, so for falls. Thank goodness. So, um, I guess we go ahead and play this Storm Chaser Mage. And, um, let's see here. Um, do I attack? Um, I think not. I think let's just build our board up a little bit and then start attacking. We'll go ahead and do Thermal Alchemist on their turn. After their attack step, we'll go ahead and do it. Okay, they've got a Tireless Tracker. That can give them uh, more clues. So they get a clue for playing the Tireless Tracker because of the Bygone Bishop. And then they get a clue from playing the land from the Tireless Tracker. So. That is not good. They're getting a bunch of extra cards. So, uh, no attacks. Let's go ahead and uh, do our Thermal Alchemist. Okay, how do we do this? Um, do we attack or just wait? I thinking maybe wait. But at least this way we can block something and uh, then uh, cast a uh, buff spell and then uh, kill it and uh, that should be pretty good. Okay, they're attacking with Tyler's Tracker. Okay, we're going to go ahead and block with our Storm Chaser Mage and then uh, cast a buff on it. So uh, let's do that. Um, we need to go ahead and um, do our... Um, Thermal Alchemist, if we can. Okay, he's cracking a clue. Can we do this Thermal Alchemist? Okay, here we go. Okay, Thermal Alchemist trigger. Play our um, buff spell. So I guess I missed the trigger on the uh, Thermal Alchemist there. But do uh, we get to do another one? If it'll let me. Okay, we take out the Tireless Tracker, so that's good. That's a good thing about the way this deck works. Uh, you can take out their creatures a lot with the uh, the way the buffs work, like Rush of Adren Adrenaline and uh, take their stuff out. So, uh, I hope I'm not forgetting uh, Thermal Alchemist triggers. I probably am, though. 
Okay, so do we try attacking now? Um, we could attack. Um, I think I want another creature out maybe though. Um, we'll just go ahead and attack. We need to start uh, getting them down lower on life. Let's just go ahead and do this. And uh, go ahead and do our Thermal Alchemist on their turn. Bishop because they cast the uh... okay and then they're returning their um, elvish visionary so they can draw another card so they're getting a lot of value out of their card so they're down they're already at 45 cards left and we've got 48 so they're already getting some uh, card advantage on us so we're not going to block any ground creatures with thermal alchemist so I'm going to go ahead and trigger it before I forget Looks like they've got another aviary mechanic, so they can uh, take one of their creatures and put it back in their hand and then replay it if they want to. So uh, that's what they're doing. They took the Elvish Visionary and put it back in their hand so they can get some more value here in a second. So uh, now they're going to attack with the uh, Bygone Bishop. Okay. Okay, they're not. Okay, we've got a uh, pretty good hand here now. Let's go ahead and uh, Thermal Alchemist. Cast a slip through space. And uh, that'll allow us to draw a card. And uh, then we can trigger Thermal Alchemist again. If it, if it let's do it. Okay. Okay, we drew another buff. Let's go ahead and cast that. And then we'll do our Thermal Alchemist again. And it looks like we've, we're going to have enough to uh, go ahead and kill them right now. We're going to have Trample, so we'll, we'll just trample on through with a uh, block with that bygone bishop. One more Thermal Alchemist trigger here. If I can get it to do it. Okay. What's going on? There's a little Jesse and Thief popping out of the top of our deck. Why is that happening? Um, looks like the game has locked up on us. So that is not good. But I think we were going to win right here. Okay, continue playing. Um, and there's no timers and we can't do anything. So uh, I'll just end this game. Looks like we won. Okay, we've got three land, a couple of creatures, no two drop creatures, but we've got a couple of three drop creatures. I guess we'll keep this. We can put that blue mana in, then the other two lands will come in untapped. Okay, they've got an Evolving Wilds, and uh, let's see what color they pull out with the Evolving Wilds. Okay, looks like a green. Okay. Let's see what we draw. We draw an Enigma Drake, so let's just play this blue land. Okay, they've got a green white mana, and they've got uh, Evolutionary Leap, so uh, they can sacrifice one of their creatures and then uh, draw cards until they get another creature with it. So we'll go ahead and play this. Um, Red blue land and then play Umar and Tangler. And uh, she'll be ready to go this next turn. So we can start attacking with her. Okay, they've got an Aether Hub. So some sort of energy deck, maybe. No other plays, okay. Then uh, we'll definitely uh, play this Sulphur Falls and then attack. 
see what they've got, if they've got anything. Blessed Alliance or something like that, maybe. Okay, no Blessed Alliance. Okay, I guess we'll play this Jesse and Thief. And uh, then we'll have two creatures ready to go this next turn. And uh, see if they play anything now. It's got to be a creature deck to uh, have Evolutionary Leap in there, right? Sacrifice a creature. Yep. Okay, no creature. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we've got more land. Let's go ahead and attack with our two creatures. Maybe I should have waited to see what Jesse and Thief was going to draw. And maybe you know, it might have been better to play a red land if we'd gotten it. Or I could have played the Wandering Fumeral now. But uh, that's alright. Guess we put the Umar Entangler out. And then uh, if they've got some kind of haste creature on the ground, we can block it. Okay, looks like they've got a fatal push for our Umar Entangler. Okay. Maybe they just haven't drawn any creatures yet. Or maybe they've only got big creatures. Not sure. Kind of strange, though. Okay. okay. So we just go ahead and attack and keep setting up our board. And uh, hopefully we can have one big attack here in a minute. Okay, they've got Avacyn. Okay. We'll use one of these Rush of Adrenalines to uh, save our uh, Jesse and Thief. Can't kill Avison, but uh, Umara and Tangler gets the uh, prow trigger. And I guess we go ahead and play another Jesse and Thief. Let's see, I don't have that many instants and sorceries for the uh, Enigma Drake yet, so uh, Jesse and Thief uh, has a better chance of getting in there and uh, drawing us more cards with two of them. Hopefully we can draw some cards. Okay, no attacks with Avison. That's fine. We'll be able to uh, attack through. Okay, there's an insult to injury. How do we do this? Um, let's see. I guess slip through space first. And uh, give us a prize trigger on all our creatures. Let's see. Okay. Then let's do an insult to injury, and then whatever they um, block with Avison, we'll do the rush of adrenaline on. And that way it'll trample through. I guess it's probably our best plan. So insult. I don't. I don't know what they could do to uh, stop this right now. So I guess no block, so we're just going to go ahead and hit him for a bunch. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they got flooded out and just didn't draw any creatures, or... Uh, I have no idea. Okay, what do we got? We've got two land, a couple of creatures. Uh, this looks pretty good. Okay, we'll just play this island and uh, go ahead and pass the turn and uh, see what they've got. Okay, they've got a shambling vent. Black and white, okay. We are going to play this Sulphur Falls. And I guess put down this uh, Abbot of Carol Keep and uh, whatever we exile, we're going to lose because we can't play it. So uh, I'd rather get the creature out and just lose it. Okay, it's a Storm Chaser Mage. That's unfortunate, but uh, we'll be all right. Okay, let's see what they've got. Okay, they've got a blue-white mana. And then they've got a Crypt Breaker. So is this some um, three-color zombie deck, maybe? Esper, um, white, blue, and black. 
Okay, we've got red. That is excellent. So let's just go ahead and attack. I don't think they'll block, but if they do, we can uh, buff our creature up. Okay, I guess we just go ahead and play this Enigma Drake and uh, put it out as a blocker. And uh, let's see what else they've got. Okay, they've got Lord of the Accursed, which is going to give the uh, other zombies plus one plus one. Lord of the Accursed also has an activated ability that uh, can give all zombies menace. But you gotta tap him to be able to do it. Okay, what do we have here? We've got, um... What's the best way to do this? Insult to injury is gonna take all of our mana. So, uh, let's maybe not do that yet. Um, if we slip through space... We could, uh, get in with our, um, Abbot of Carol Keep. So I think we go ahead and do that. And uh, let's see what we draw. Okay, we draw land, so that's excellent. So now we can go ahead and uh, insult. And uh, since our Drake is flying and our um, Abbot of Carol Keep is unblockable, they'll both be able to get in and we'll be able to do a bunch of damage right now. So uh, let's see how much we do all together. They can't block us, so they're at 18. So that takes them down to six. So we did 12 damage then. So that is awesome. Okay, if they can't get rid of our creatures this turn, we should have them this next turn. I mean, they would have to put in some awesome blocker to stop us right now at this point. And I don't really know of any um, big, beefy, awesome zombie blocker for four mana. Kalatos. I think we could trample through Kalatos, but... Uh, Let's see what they've got. Okay, are they going to attack? Looks like no attacks and uh, no plays. Okay. Not sure what they've got, but uh, we're going to put some land out, I guess. Do we play insult to injury now? Um, eh, I don't think so. Let's just attack and uh, see what happens here. Injury would have been three mana. These other cards, uh, I think we could play all these and uh, they're going to do more for uh, less mana. Okay, so he's going to block. Just one blocker? You're going to have to. Okay. Yep, we've got him then because we're going to be able to trample through and do all this damage to him. Okay, I don't guess we need that. I don't think there's anything they can do though at this point. We got them. Okay, we probably want that um, thermal alchemist. So yeah, we've got them pretty good now. Okay, minus eight. That's a pretty good game. Okay, no land. Um, three land. I guess we'll keep this. We got three creatures, so this is not bad hand. Three land, three creatures, one buff. Hopefully we uh, get some more buffs. So they've got green, white, tap land. Okay. We'll go ahead and play our wandering femur all. And uh, let's see what else they've got. Okay, a white mana. Okay, looks like they've got a veteran Cathar. It's a 2-2 two -two that uh, can uh, give uh, humans first strike if they pay uh, four mana. So uh, let's put that out and um, put our storm, pa storm Chaser Mage out. And uh, go ahead and hit him, I guess, for one. Might as well. Um, we'll definitely probably be able to uh, outrace him. If it's just a white green humans deck, which is probably what it is. Okay. A 
forest. Are they gonna go ahead and attack? They get a selfless spirit. I guess I would attack, so they probably will too. Okay, let's see what we draw. We draw another red land. Okay. Um, how do we do this? I guess we just go ahead and start by attacking with Storm Chaser Mage. Okay. So, are they going to block with the um, Selfless Spirit? I wouldn't think they would. Okay, they don't. Now, what are we going to play? Jesse and Thief? Or, um, Jorian Ruin Diver? Let's play Jorian Ruin Diver. That way we can start uh, casting two spells. We'll uh, start drawing cards from that. I guess we could draw cards with uh, Jesse and Thief if they uh, do damage to the player too, so I guess it didn't really matter. But uh, Okay, they play a white mana. Let's see what they do. So you're going to attack. Okay, he does attack. We'll go ahead and block. And if they kill our Ruin Diver, then okay, they kill our Ruin Diver. He can give it to Double Strike. So that's what he does. And he sacrifices his selfless spirit to give it indestructible. So uh, he kills our Jory in, but then again, we got him to uh, sacrifice the uh, selfless spirit. So that's fine. And they do no damage to us. So feels like a pretty fair trade to me. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and attack with our um, Storm Chaser Mage. Let's put this Jesse and Thief out. Probably won't block with her. Um, need to set up the next turn where we do uh, a bunch of damage and uh, draw some cards with the Jesse and Thief. gonna attack for sure. No attacks. I probably would have attacked. But he knows we could have a pump spell, so we actually don't. Okay, play the land. Um, so he's planning on blocking. So what do we do? Let's just go ahead and attack and see what he does. Blocks just in thief. Okay. Guess um, let's put the Umar Entangler out, and I guess we go ahead and put Abbot of Carol Keep out, and uh, probably lose whatever card he exiles, which that's unfortunate. But yeah, we can't really use that um, rush of adrenaline because we're not attacking now. So. Uh, Okay, Thalia's Lieutenant. Okay, that puts a plus one, plus one counter on the uh, Veteran Cathar. Okay, is he going to attack? Okay, no attacks. So at this point, we need to go ahead and attack with everything. Let's see, let's play um, Slip Through Space, I guess, on our Jesse and Thief so we can draw cards.
Okay, Enigma Drake is not really going to help us, but uh, let's just go ahead and attack with everything and uh, see what happens. Do they have any kind of blocks or plays or anything that they can stop us with? Okay. Veteran Cathar. Okay, he's giving it double strike. Let's see, if we do this, what is that going to do for us? Okay, that was a really good turn. Okay, let's go ahead and play this uh, Enigma Drake out. He's got one creature. So, I don't know what he could have to uh, stop us. Some sort of uh, planar outburst or something would really be devastating. Okay, Sunblade Elf and um, Renegade Rallier. Okay. So, he doesn't really have enough to stop us. Okay. So, we've got him this next turn. So, we're not going to block. Okay, Jesse and Thief. And then, uh, let's go ahead and expedite it and attack with everything. It looks like we've got this. And, okay, we get a brute strength, too. So, yeah, we're definitely going to win, win this right now. Okay, no blocks. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, comment.